Hello and welcome back or welcome if it's your first time here. Today's topic of discussion is going to be 35 millimeter lenses, very specifically the Tamron 35 millimeter lenses, the Tamron 35 millimeter 1.8 and the Tamron 35 millimeter 1.4. Which one should you buy? Alright, first a little story time. For years I shot with the 1.8. It was my most favorite lens that there ever was. It made it onto my camera body and it rarely left. It's definitely the best lens. I ended up buying the Tamron 35mm lens. It's a little funny. I ended up buying it because it was cheaper. I was being cheap at the time. I really liked um, some of the other 35 millimeter lenses that were out there, but I could not afford it. So after lots and lots of research, I ended up getting the 1.8, and like I said, I used it for years. I now have the 1.4, which I also love, and side note, I only have the 1.4 because Tamron sent it to me. This video is not, it's not sponsored. They didn't ask me to do anything about it. I worked with them on a few projects uh, with the 35mm 1.8, so they ended up sending me the 1.4 so that I could work on um, feature stuff with them with the 1.4. So, to be fair, I only have it because they sent it to me. Alright, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about some differences. Um, first and foremost, when I got the 1.4 in the mail, I noticed the weight. This bad boy is heavy. It is a monster. It feels so well built. It's definitely a good thing and a bad thing if you're shooting a wedding all day. It is very heavy, but it also makes it feel very sturdy in your hands and on your camera. Yeah, I do have some notes. The 1.8 um, comes in at 1 pound and 1.9 ounces and the 1.4 comes in at 1 pound 13.6 ounces. So, it's like 12 ounces difference. It's very it's very heavy compared to the 1.8. Um, definitely nothing that would it's not a bad thing that it's heavy, just something to note. It is very heavy. All right, and then there is the other thing that everybody wants to know is the pricing. So the pricing for the 1.8, right now brand new on the internet, is $5.99 and the 1.4 is $6.99. So they're $100 difference. Really not enough, I don't think. I don't think anybody would choose one over the other just because of pricing. That's really not, not much of a difference to kind of use that to weigh which one you should buy. However, if you are on a budget, the 1.8 can be scooped on plenty of websites that I could find for around $300 used. That's pretty awesome. So if your budget's on the lower side, there's your answer. Go with the 1.8 because you can scoop that bad boy for 300 bucks. I couldn't really find any options for the 1.4 used, and I think it's just because it's new. So if you're on a budget, the 1.8 is definitely the way to go because you can find them used for such a good price. Another pretty big difference is the 1.8 has image stabilization, it has VC, and it has just a little, a little switch that you flip on and off to um, kind of stabilize your images. So if you are thinking about one of these lenses uh, for video, then that is something to keep in mind. If it came down to it today and I was looking for a 35mm lens, knowing what I know and having both of them, which one would I choose? Would I have chosen the 1.4 if it was available at the time or would I have chosen the 1.8? Honestly, I would have chosen the 1.4. Only because I love, I actually like how heavy it is. That 0.4 difference in the aperture, it's not a huge deal but when you want it, it is there. I tend to shoot around 2.0, 2.8, seems to be my range. Um, so that 0.4 isn't really a factor for me, but I do like that I have it if I needed it. Because I do mention to people that I have the 1.4 because Tamron sent it to me, people ask if I would have upgraded. Would I have ever 
upgraded to the 1.4. If Tamron did not send it to me, would I have bought that lens? No. <laughs> but let me be clear about it. Because the 1.8 was my favorite and I there was nothing wrong with the 1.8, I'm not the kind of person that needs the newest upgraded version of everything. I don't even get a new phone until mine just stops working. But that's me. I don't I would never have found the need to spend $700 on a lens that I felt like I didn't really need. Don't get me wrong, I love it and I feel so lucky that they sent that to me and I, like I said, so now that one doesn't come off my camera and then I have the 1.8 for backup. No, I probably never would have upgraded or traded in my 1.8 for the 1.4 because that's just not who I am. Okay, so let's recap to kind of help you make a decision and what you're going to buy. So when it comes to price, very similarly priced, unless you're looking at a lower budget, you can scoop the 1.8 for around $300. If you shoot video, I would go with the 1.8 only because it has that image stabilization for you and if you shoot video, you know that any little bit helps, whether it's in the lens or in the camera, but any little bit of stabilization helps. As far as overall quality goes, I would go with the 1.4. I really like the extra weight. I like the build quality of it. It just feels better in your hands. However, it's not something that I would have ever even known because I was perfectly happy with the 1.8. I hope you didn't come here for a absolute definitive answer. I could never tell you what lens to use or to not use. It's definitely a preference. I just kind of wanted to break down the two lenses because I see in a lot of Facebook groups and online in forums people asking about these two lenses like what is the big difference that 0.4 difference seems to be the main one that people kind of focus on so I wanted to clarify 1.8 1.4 they're both absolutely beautiful lenses you would be happy with either one I realize some of this is definitely my opinion but Having used both of the lenses, that's the best advice I can give you is get the lens that's right for you. Alright, I think that is all I have. If you have any other questions about them or if you want um, very specific um, photos, you can go to my Instagram at Teal Garcia Photo and anything prior to December of 2019 I shot with the 1.8 and just about everything up until then I have shot with the 1.4 so you can kind of see the difference there's not really a lot of difference um, that you could probably tell but there are tons of example photos most of the time we're either done on the Canon 60 or the Canon 5D Mark III I will go ahead and put links down below um, links to both of these lenses so you can read a little bit more about them and kind of make the decision for yourself. All right, whichever one you choose, you're gonna love it though. As always, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up.